It is Sunday, folks. It is Smell It Sunday. Do you know what Smell It Sunday is? Smell It Sunday is a show that I do every Sunday. We talk about aromas, aromatics. We share our passions about candles and other things that we enjoy. But today's show is going to be so much more special than it usually is. It's always decently special, but we're at a very special location. The location is what makes today very special. It's one of my favorite places in the world. I think you can guess where it is. Diane's been waiting for it. We're at Yankee Candle Village, more specifically South Deerfield, Massachusetts, home of the Yankee Candle Village. It's the flagship store established in 1983. This is an attraction. This is a living museum. This is a retail extravaganza of everything Yankee Candle and everything that makes you feel good right in here, the heart. And not only that, it is the semi-annual sale. The semi-annual sale. We get, of course, two semi-annual sales a year, one right after Christmas. The one after Christmas is, is pretty fun, but let's face it, it's right after Christmas. But now, now it is, we're in the full swing of, maybe it's not summer yet, but we're, we're in the summer state of mind, are we not? Not only that, but we're talking about all of the new releases of the autumn fragrances. We got Nancy, we got Aaron, we got Dallas, we got Chris. Uh, am I forget anybody? Eric, Carol, Heather, Angie, Clementine. We had Hobble Kitty, Hobble Kitty, right here in person. She came here to, uh, uh, to do some shopping, and I just had a lovely conversation. Uh, uh, it's always fabulous. Hobble Kitty, if you're watching or listening to this at a later time, Thank you so much uh, for uh, showing your support and uh, starting my my life off in a really good mood. Blend it like Brian is with us here too. So um, a lot of you may be tuning in for the first time, uh, and a lot of people uh, may be tuning in because there's a giveaway today. Yes, there's been a giveaway. Uh, I've had it posted for seven days. Uh, didn't really promote it that much, uh, but I wanted to keep it, um, you know, intimate. Uh, I didn't want thousands of people. Well, it's not that I wouldn't want thousands of people participating, but I'm glad you guys know that there's not thousands of people participating because this gives you better odds, better chances to actually win. What are the prizes? Let's start off with the giveaway. The giveaway is a brand new 2018 yet to be released Tranquil Mist. Now, I know what you're saying. Tranquil Mist, that's a part of the fall preview. Yes, but you can, at this time, only purchase it in milk cups, room sprays, uh, and small seven ounce tumblers. The giveaway is for a full 22 ounce house warmer jar, but that's not it, folks. That is an autumn candle, but I got a Christmas candle that I am tacking along to this international giveaway, and that's going to be the brand new 2018. This won't be released until mid-October. It's called Icy Blue Spruce. I talked about it on my live yesterday. I talked about it last week. Uh, you can easily find photographs of it online. It is beautiful. It is a, a very, in my opinion, a very welcomed, a very beautiful addition to the Yankee Candle lineup. I think it's going to be uh, probably one, if not the most popular candles of um, the Christmas season this year. Uh, and, and Diane's getting excited. She goes, oh yeah, give me the spruce, baby. She's starting to talk like me. So, uh, those of you who are tuning in for the giveaway, uh, I do have a winner, but you know how this works. I want you to hang in there for a little bit because we got some other things to talk about, other things to do. Uh, first, first thing is first, I want to give you, we're not going to be just sitting down all day. We're going to take a nice extensive tour of the Yankee Candle Village. Now, I've done tours before. I'm going to link up all of my videos where I've, do I've documented this place like five times. I can't get enough of documenting this place, but I got one like 45 minute long video where I go room to room and really try to highlight as much as I can. Um, not just the shopping areas, but uh, the Bavarian Village, which is a, uh, a year round Christmas celebration walkthrough 
facades of Christmas decorations. It's absolutely gorgeous. So we're going to do all of that today. We're going to do it live because Yankee Candle has provided us here at the village with pretty decent Wi-Fi. That was not the case before. If you came here three years ago, no Wi-Fi, no cellular service. You could not do, you couldn't make a phone call, let alone go live. Can I turn up the volume just a little bit? Do you, what, what, what do you, hmm. I wonder, is that any better? Tell me if that's better. If it's not better, I might take the headphones off. Plus, there's a fountain. There's a fountain right behind us. It's not better. All right. What about now? Does that sound better? Better, worse? You tell me. That, that's good? That's good. So the headphones, no. Headphones, no. Angie's saying worse now. Way louder, better. All right, uh, you guys keep me. Uh, you guys keep me posted uh, on on uh, the audio. Angie's saying there's too much fountain. <sighs> okay, better. Let's do this. How about now? Whoo, man. Adjust your volume, please. We're getting some impatience. I'm wondering what the problem is. This is not good to be happening on a live, a live. We're gonna be walking soon. If this keeps happening, we'll be walking sooner rather than later. All right, so, uh, so this is what we're going to do. There is, uh, if you've never if never been to Yankee Candle Village, there is the candle uh, uh, candle emporium, which is right now that's where all the action is because a lot of the the semi annual items. Did I even tell you there was a semi annual sale? So that whole volume thing really got me mixed up. We're good. We're good. We're here during the semi annual sale. I've done this before. Um, but I, I really want, I, I think I came at the end of the same annual sale last year and or, or during January, whenever it was, and uh, everything was gone. We're only on the second week, um, so there's still tons of great stuff on the floor and stuff that you're not going to find, unfortunately, at your uh, local Yankee Candle retailer. We have things like right now I'm looking at items that were um, exclusive to the pop-up storefront for the Soho Candle Power Show um, that being the Chesapeake Bay candles uh, those were dynamite fragrances they're still here it's amazing uh, and also the Woodwick candle that was exclusive to that show it was called simply Soho awesome fragrance and uh city lights which was the exclusive candle on the label had a beautiful portrait of the manhattan bridge uh no no ruckus nancy we're all good now but that manhattan bridge label uh beautiful label beautiful candle they're all here i'm, I'm here looking for some things for you guys there's some requests that i received and uh, so as we walk around, I'll be looking for that. Who's here for the giveaway and who is new? And if there's anybody lurking, and what I mean by lurking is if there's anybody who watches but doesn't comment, I want you to step forward now. Look at this. I'm gonna give a shout out right now to Shannon. So excited for the walkabout, living vicariously through Shane living vicariously part of me feels like that should be uh, a name of a segment that I do we have living enthusiastically but we need to have living vicariously so just to give you a little uh, quick 
uh, updates on what happened yesterday. Oh, look at this, baking with Elliot. I am often lurking here, and I can confirm to that because baking with Elliot, I don't see your, I don't see you pop up in the comment feeds too often. Don't, don't lurk. We want to talk. We want, I want to be friends with you. Uh, so a brief uh, kind of follow up of what happened yesterday. I drove all the way to Lake George, New York. Uh, which from where I was, it was about a three hour drive. Uh, there's a beautiful outlet there, a wonderful staff, but they were holding on to a very special candle for me, that being Enchanted Moon, which is one of the 2018 autumn fragrances that's not released yet, and I didn't have it. So I went there, they, they had one, and I'm, I bought it, and I bought two crates of other candles for evaluations and giveaways, things of that nature. And uh, I left them in my vehicle last night because it was pretty cool. I drove all the way from Lake George to South Deerfield, which took me about two hours and 45 minutes, a little bit longer than I anticipated. And uh, this morning I woke up and I'm like, I gotta get those candles out of the car because it's, it's pretty warm today. So I, I got the two crates and I'm carrying them inside. Two, well, two crates meaning like, yeah, like a dozen candles. I guess that's a lot. Um, but what are you gonna do? Five for fifty dollars. I mean, you gotta take advantage of that, right? Um, I'm carrying them into my hotel room, and you know, sometimes when the candles are all different sizes, they start to lean and tip in certain areas. This has never happened to me before in my life. One candle completely got loose from the egg crate that I was carrying, and. I went and took a state of shock before anything even happened. The candle was in mid-flight, it was falling. My heart stopped and I was in disbelief. And I heard smash. And not like a smash like crack, crack. It's, you know what I mean? It sounded like a Hollywood studio sound effect. I mean, shards of glass everywhere from where I was standing. I dropped one candle that I purchased yesterday out of 12, one. And uh, and guess what candle that was out of all the candles I bought yesterday. Can anybody take a wild guess? And then we're gonna do a walkabout. Yes, it was. No one, no one answered yet, but there might be a delay. It was the Enchanted Moon, folks. I broke my Coco Vaughn, a.k.a. Enchanted Moon. The Coco Vaughn part was a joke. Um, the Enchanted Moon smash. And it, it's not just a little bit smashed. It's completely destroyed. Uh, I remember the feeling when I, I broke my first wine bottle. And it is not. It is not a good feeling. It's it's probably equivalent for me of like getting into a car accident. You know that just guilty feeling that you have. So, um, you know, no sense of being overly upset. Uh, I called Yankee Candle uh, in Yank, uh, Lake George. I told them this story. They were just as upset as I was for me, not for themselves. And they're like, Shane, you got it. You got to come back and get another one. We have one more left. So they're they're holding it for me. I'm gonna go pick up Enchanted Moon at Lake George. So I have to go drive two and a half hours, then two and a half hours back here because I also am spending the night here because hopefully tomorrow I'm gonna be doing some uh, Kringle uh, content, Kringle Candle, which if you don't know is only a couple couple strides down the road and I've already booked the night so how about that how about that what if that would was the start of your day you drove three hours to get a candle and within a blink of an eye you smash it but let's talk about good things let's talk about good things uh, I got my coffee from Oban Pan which is now the official cafe slash restaurant slash coffee provider of the Yankee Candle Village I'm wearing my Lake George shirt. I always feel weird wearing a New York shirt in Massachusetts, but I think we're west enough where um, people don't take too 
too much offense from it. If Rachel's in the house or anybody else from Massachusetts, you let me know the rules. How far east do you have to be in Massachusetts before it becomes a problem to wear a New York shirt? Because let me tell you, one time I walked into, and this is not a joke, I walked into a Boston pub wearing New York Yankees hat. Because I was in Brooklyn, I drove from Brooklyn, New York, all the way to see my brother in Boston, one drive, and I never took my hat off. And I walked into this bar, and it was like in a movie. This, the jukebox came to like a screeching halt, and like everyone turned and looked at me. Whoa boy, whoa boy. It wasn't bold. It was dangerous and unintentional. I didn't mean to. Okay, upstate New York, thumbs up. And New York City, thumbs down, says a Joseph. Thing is, I'm not even like a huge baseball fan. I know Eric is a huge baseball fan. Some of you guys are huge baseball fans. But I just, in my youth, and by my youth, I mean college years, I had, I just wore a hat because I didn't know what to do with my, my hair. And now, obviously, I know exactly to do, what to do with my hair. All right, so what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna, is gonna to take off this mount that I have you on. Now remember, if you're here for the giveaway, don't go anywhere because we are going to announce the giveaway winner. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, guys. Look at this. Because I have a, uh, you guys covered for the rest of the year as far as a Yankee candle is concerned. I have you covered for Halloween. I uh, have you covered for uh, the holiday season. I have you covered for autumn as well. Let's go take a walk. I'm going to put my backpack on. I have you strapped to my uh, handheld apparatus now. So first things first, uh, I'm going to flip the camera around in a second, but right now we're in the cafe area. The, the Candle Mountain Boys are right here. And if anyone's been here before, you might be a little bit confused because the image is flopped. You see what I'm seeing? See what I'm saying? It doesn't say Lake George. It's flopped. Something's going on with YouTube, and I haven't figured it out yet. So if the image is flopped for you, it might look like the Yankee Candle Village is backwards. But this is where you, you come for all of your, your sweet treats, your goodies. If you have a sweet tooth, let me tell you, uh, there is plenty here to keep you busy. I'm looking at uh, things that are up to standard as far as a Disneyland standards. Reese's Pieces covered ch chocolates and Rice Krispie treats. But my favorite right here is, look at all this. All in-house made fudge. It's all made right inside of the Yankee Candle Village. And I don't know how many flavors they make, how many varieties, but it seems like they have everything. And I know a lot of, a lot of you guys are being very brave right now in living a healthier lifestyle, staying away from all this sweet stuff. So I want to say sorry. And <laughs> if that is causing any problems, we have Ben and Jerry's right here. Ben and Jerry's ice cream, my biggest biggest weakness um, and speaking of weak weakness you guys know how much I talk about candy now I'm not a big I can't I can't change the exposure exposure that says Yankee candy right there uh, I use candy all of the time when I'm describing candles fragrances even when I'm talking about wine because I feel like it's a great means of communication. Um, and here at Yankee Candle, they have hundreds, if not thousands, of different candies that, you know, that are a part of our childhood. I, I think everyone's childhood. There's something from everyone's childhood here. We have candies from the 40s, the 30s, 50s. Did I say the 30s? 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. Uh, and then everything after that to me, I would consider contemporary. 
um, but a beautiful, beautiful uh, way to, this is kind of like the end of the attraction because it's a walkthrough. And I just want to do a quick, because I haven't even taken a look yet through the village. I'm going to flip the camera around. I hope you don't mind. Uh, we're heading into, I have to dodge people's faces, folks, so I hope you don't mind. But we're heading into Santa's workshop. I want to give you a quick look. I haven't been through here yet. And this is where we, oh, look who it is. It's Santa Claus. Santa Claus is here. He is working hard. And he's preparing all of the gifts. He's receiving letters from all around the world. This is new. Check this out. This is new. We have, we have nice spot, spotlights on uh, our, our singing Christmas elves here. You see, my favorite, she's wearing, she's still wearing her little, like, it's not a, it's not like a witch hat. It's like a fairy hat. Or, uh, kind of like a renaissance thing, right? Um, you know what? Something about, if you don't look too closely, some people will say they're creepy. But if you don't look too closely, I think they're quite... <laughs> Enchanting. Uh, up on the ceiling, we have uh, a conveyor belt of of Santa's gifts being ready to be loaded into probably not Santa's sleigh, but probably in storage since we still got a long way before we get to Christmas. Human skeleton, three D puzzle. All right. I guess we really do have something for everybody here. We have nostalgia, nostalgia, and contemporary, contemporary. And we, they carry uh, Disney items in uh, the workshop here. Um, toys and goodies for Santa's sleigh, a plenty. But we're enter uh, exiting Santa's workshop and entering the Nutcracker Castle. I was zoomed in a little bit, I apologize there. So we're, this, I have to kind of stop myself from saying this is my favorite room, because I go into every room and say, oh, this is my favorite room, but I'm fond of this whole place. But this is, come on, tell me right now you wouldn't want your house to be decorated just like this room and it's something that I always come to make sure is still here every time I visit is what I call Geppetto's clock if we got Geppetto's clock some of you guys are like Shane why are you always showing us the same things because these are the things that really get to me we got Bambi Bambi and Bambi's mother maybe and then what I call Jack Sparrow's pirate ship leather chair and just to be clear i've said this all before this is the real deal folks this is not a uh, hollywood special effects this is not a fabricated uh movie props this is uh the real deal antique all the way i mean some of this i don't i don't even want to touch it this should have signs that say don't touch but very fragile. And one day, one day, I will convince Yankee Candle or this guy right here, Yankee Candle or this guy, to let me go home with that chair. However, I don't think they're gonna let me do that. Let's speed this up, because I know you guys wanna see semi-annual sale things. Uh, and while we're here, we should talk about this. Uh, Idlevice, uh, Idlevice has forever, forever been known as a Yankee Candle Village exclusive, but now it is available on the website. It's got a, the new U.S. label. Uh, it's, it's readily available, uh, but let me tell you, uh, this candle is monstrous. I think I absolutely did, now that I mentioned it, kind of like the, 
in quotes, the sound of music candle. I did an evaluation of this quite some time before. Uh, if you are into monstrous, bombastic, green and floral candles, that is something that you should check out. Oh my God, guys, I am so excited. Uh, this new, uh, it's not new anymore, but the iPhone 10 or 10 or iPhone X shoots a little bit better in low light situations. And this is great because this means we can see a little bit more than uh, previous lives or other videos I've filmed using my cell phone. We're crossing the drawbridge guarded by the two knights in shining armor. That's right, two knights. And I always make an observation that they're not, they're, they're not shiny. They're more, it's a more of a satin finish. So two knights in a satin finish um, uh, armor. Um, but we do have our gates leading us into the facade of the Nutcracker Castle and the entrance of the Varian Village. Can anybody say creature from the Black Lagoon? Oh yeah. If you guys could only smell what this room smells like, it's, it smells like a Disneyland attraction. And here's something that is brand new. Look at this. We have some illumination. We have these uh, lighted snowflakes. Snowflakes that are falling from the sky, uh, uh, projected onto the facade of the Nutcracker Castle. And this is about as wide as I can get, I apologize. But look at that. That is cool, I like it. And we even have some on the ground. But that fountain, again, just in case you've never been here or you've never seen my videos, it's kind of dark now, but it wraps all the way around this whole room. You see that? Oh, good God. And if you thought that was it, it's not. It goes underneath the drawbridge and continues to the other side of the castle. It's looking good, Yankee Candle. Folks from the Yankee Candle Village, if you're watching, Dana especially. Dana is the one responsible for all this magic. Dana and her team, wonderful job. Thank you, thank you dearly for keeping this place up. And look what they've done. They've done work. They've done lots of work. We have brand new twinkle lights. Look at this. We have these super bright, cool white light twinkle lights that looks like, oh my God, it looks like an enchanted ice palace now. This is the 25 foot revolving Christmas tree. And we have new ornaments. We have this kind of this super long garland made of red ornaments, pine cones. So it's, it's still very much adorned with Christmas uh, 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 glam and sparkles, but different aesthetic. And all of these, uh, this garland and the bright twinkle lights are new. And the Bavarian village clock is, uh, I always seem to come at the right time, but here they are playing their music. They come out on the half hour and up in the corner, a little bit more visible today. I think it's because of this strip of twinkle lights, we can see uh, the Easter egg that I'm always pointing out, which is, I'm, I always say it's Donner. Um, Rudolph's father, he's always he's been hidden up there for years. There's never been a light on him. Right now, uh, the camera is exposing him pretty brightly, but with the naked eye, it's very hard to see him. But it's a little bit easier to see him now since they put up 
these new lights. Oh man. I know everyone right now is completely enamored with it being June or uh, autumn fragrances. But tell me, just tell me for the briefest moment, this does not put you into the Christmas state of mind. And that floor that's made out of this beautiful stone truly makes you feel like you're outside. Again, it's all about creating that illusion. We have silhouettes of folks in the windows, families celebrating the Christmas season. We have a little girl, two little girls, but one is waving outside of the window. And in the far window, all the way by the clock, we have grandma rocking in her chair. And uh, just real quickly, uh, a lot of this stuff is redundant. I've been here before, but all of these little nooks underneath the facades, you see them, how there's like these doorways? Uh, each doorway brings you into a completely different themed shopping area. This is amazing, right? So if we walk into this section right here, uh, suddenly, we have just walked into Ireland. We have all Ireland products. We have, of course, we have to have steins and, and pints, uh, pint glasses. We have uh, Irish mustards. We have Irish paraphernalia, these uh, little Irish fellows, leprechauns, a lamb. Uh, I don't know how that's relevant. I guess there's lambs in, in, in Ireland. We have this guy. I don't know if this is, I'm Irish, but I don't know if this is an, uh, an, uh, an Irish figure, but it looks like Santa Claus celebrating St. Patrick's Day. He's not drinking beer though. You see that? He's drinking water because Santa Claus, he's got to fly his sleigh. He's responsible. He does not drink and fly. He is very responsible. Uh, we have Irish soda bread mixes. Again, more. we have lime curd, raspberry curd, Irish tea. Wow, this is really cool. They got a lot of new Irish uh, products. <laughs> Nancy goes, it's gin. He's drinking gin. That's Santa Claus. Irish coffee. Wow, very nice. Like I said, being Irish myself, it's nice to see that there's new Irish products. Uh, for sale, but you get the idea. You walk into every one of these doors and you have different themes. We have a, 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 a German section. We have a section that's devoted to Jim Shore. Jim Shore, uh, if you watch QVC, I think he's on QVC. I might be wrong, uh, but he produces these amazing figures and this stuff I have to be careful oh my god because you know it, you know everything he makes looks like it's whittled like carved out of wood and then my like, hand painted uh, but they're made out of resin and not only do they have Disney folks but they have the peanuts I've showed this all before I apologize but this is why I come back and I revisit the Yankee Candle Village because I just, you know, I can't own all of this stuff, but I can at least come and look. You know, they allow you to pick these things up, take a good look at them. There is Elsa. I do own this Elsa. Um, my baby dog, Maltese puppy, is named Elsa, and uh, I, had to, I had to get that one. I love that little figure, but I don't have Anna. And look at this, we have Gus Gus from Cinderella. We have Clogsworth uh, from, and Clogsworth and Lumiere from Beauty and the Beast. And we have the Rankin and Bass Christmas stop motion animation uh, figurines, Santa Claus, Rudolph. We have a Jack in the box. Um, or, excuse me, Charlie in the box. I can't believe I just called him uh, Jack in the box. Uh, we have Ariel. Oh, look at this. We got, we got Punzi. Punzi. 
and Ryder, Ryder or Flynn Ryder, or Eugene. I'm sorry, guys. I like Disney. I like Disney. I know some of you guys probably are like, what the heck's wrong with me? We got Hanna-Barbera. Um, so, oh, that is new. And, oh, good God. And Ariel is even there. Did she eat Ariel? What is going on? Did she eat her? I guess not. Flutsam and Jetsam also there. I think they're just swimming in front of Ursula. That is gorgeous. And look at, look at Pocahontas. How sweet is that? Oh, I got to take my brother here. Um, my brother is a huge Disney fan, just as I am. And we have a difficult time with this kind of stuff. If, you, if, if anyone thinks that men don't buy these things, think again. Because if they don't, at least some of them want to. Alright, let's keep going, guys. As much as I want to just, like, pop a squat and just hang out here because it's completely empty, I want to make sure that I'm showing you all of the semi-annual sale goodness. This here is the Santa Claus room. Everything Santa Claus. Santa Claus is as far as the eye can see. Oh, there he is. I was looking for him. We have an almost life-size Santa Claus, which I have found out not too long ago has been here for... This guy is probably not as... He's probably almost as old as I am. Let's put it that way. That's how long he's been here at the Yankee Candle Village. Uh, beautiful. Look at how beautiful this... I'm sure this is faux fur, because Santa would never wear real fur. Uh, so we got his beautiful, beautiful coat, nice thick velvet coat, and all lined. I can't see his boots, but Santa's looking, uh, he's, he's in good shape. Uh, uh, Holiday Homes has never been a big fan of Santa Claus, but that room is quite impressive. It is, you know, uh, I think if you are into that especially um the, like the coca-cola classic santa claus you know what i mean like the 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 the, the coca-cola christmas commercials i lost my coffee oh my god i put it down and now i don't know where it is um this is upsetting but uh there's a lot of like coca-cola classic looking santa clauses in here lost my coffee. When did I put it down, guys? When did I put it down? There it is. I found it. I found it. All right. We're entering the Snowflake Factory. Do you hear the trains? I hear the trains. My friend Santa is in the car right now. Uh, he, he didn't want to come in. He wanted to stay and listen to some tunes in the vehicle. But look, it snows. It snows in the Snowflake Factory. That is indeed why it is called the Snowflake Factory. Come on, take it in, look at this, and, and, and just for a second, celebrate how awesome this is and the fact that there's people in the world who will provide such entertainment for those of us who are obsessed with fantasy, make-believe, the holidays, uh, this has to be my favorite room. I know every room is my favorite, but I used to come here before I vlogged, and I used to sit right here in this chair. And I remember one time I brought Charles Dickens' Christmas Carol, and I sat here probably for a good amount of hours. This is a an authentic, authentic, listen to that creaking. That's not just because I'm heavy. That's because this is an authentic antique. Um, I used to sit here, read, drink my coffee, and then just watch uh, people's reactions coming into this room. The adults, the kids, the families. And when it starts to snow, it shoots out from way up there and you know, it's it's like being at Disneyland. It's I, I I love seeing people mystified, excited, 
seeing the kids uh, be fooled to think that they're possibly uh, in, well, they are. They're here in Santa's Village. They're here in Santa's Village. And, uh, and I think the reason why it pulls up my heartstrings, and I've said this a lot before, is that um, uh, I, th this room's always reminded me of the scene where, um, in, in, in Lion, Witch, in the Wardrobe, where uh, we finally discover the land of Narnia in the forest, in the snow. We even have the lamp posts. Uh, I mentioned that all before, but I can't believe how quiet it is. Excuse me, that was a mini burp. I apologize. Um, here we have the villages. Now this is gonna be Doug from Spooky Villages Forte. We do have Margaritaville themed uh, villages. This might be temporary for the summer or the spring, but I don't think it's been here before. And look at that, we have a sign up there. And I have seen it, but it hasn't been too long since they completely redid this wall. They painted this wall with this iridescent blue color and a black light behind the sets. And it gives it this really beautiful, bright blue winter sky effect where before I think it was really just kind of like painted black. But this really is a, a, a big added touch. I don't know if you can really get, yeah, see the black light rope that runs along in there. Um, I always like to do this. Kind of do one of like a Beetlejuice helicopter shot over the entire village. Oh look! Oh no! They they switched. That used to be Santa and Rudolph, and now it's Santa. And it looks like only the eight reindeer. W where's Rudolph? And there's Christmas vacation. What is going on here? I am set, upset that they got rid of Rudolph. Santa's eight tiny reindeer, but Rudolph is not leading the way, which concerns me because as we all know, the weather can get pretty nasty. And look, we have a new addition to Manhattan. We used to just have the Chrysler building. Uh, and now we have, I forget, I don't even know the name of this building. Uh, I'm a New Yorker and I don't even, I don't even know. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but um, but uh, I think I've, I've made my point that really everything is covered. We have kind of the North Pole section here. Look at this. We have a Mickey Mouse, a Gumball, Emporium. I don't know. I guess that's a village. I guess it could be a village. Yeah, a lot of this is new or at least redone. We have our ice skaters. We have Sally Fields uh, right here. Maybe that's not Sally Fields. And we got two swans floating in the pond with a beautiful castle. It doesn't look like a cathedral. That looks like that looks very similar to Cinderella's castle, does it not? Uh-oh, my cord is snagged on a street lamp. All right. And if you thought this wall was covered in a massive amount of villages, and you didn't know, there's still more on the other side. Uh, always have to check out the Halloween section. There's new stuff. There is new stuff for sure. Doug right now, I hope he watches this. Doug from Spooky Villages. We still have the Headless Horseman up here, which is my favorite piece. But it looks like they have a few new train cars, uh, including this, this demon 
like creature. He's got three fingers and a long tongue like Gene Simmons. And he's, he's shackled. He's shackled, not too tightly, I might add, to this uh, flatbed. And the, the caboose, the caboose, the witch. Very cool. A lot of new items. I can't say for sure. Uh, not the Bates Motel, but we do have the, the Bats Motel. So Yankee Candles got you covered as far as villages. Oh no, guys. Hold on to, oh God, hold on to your shoes, your boots. This is new. Oh my God, I was not anticipating this. We have Tim Burton's Disney's the Nightmare Before Christmas, brand new village set. Holiday Homes gotta like this. We have the Town Hall. Look at that. The mayor is right here. Look at the illumination. We have zero days uh, into Christmas. The clock, oh my good God. Look at the detail. Can you see the detail? This is incredible. And then we have Jack's home. You know, the long staircase. Jack and Jack and Zero live up in here. You know, uh, Eureka, I've got it. Or was it up here? This is where his workhouse is, where Sally brought him up some late night treats. Mr. Finkelstein. At the front of the line, we have Mr. Finkelstein's, I don't know what you want to call this, but humble abode uh, here. And wow. And I don't know who this person is. I, I don't believe it, it is Nightmare Before Christmas related, but certainly does fit. We have some cemetery gates. This is quite cool, folks. I'm sorry that I'm taking a little extra time here with this, but this is uh, new, new uh, for uh, since the last time I've been here. And then we have How the Grinch Stole a Christmas. Okay, semi-annual sale time. Let's do it. All right, so we're walking into the country store. Uh, this room is going to be most uh, set up like your typical Yankee Candle retail store. Um, it's going to be, or at least the way it was, uh, everything is going to be categorized by genre. You know, festive, fresh, food, spice, all of those things. As we can see up here, uh, our sale today is save up to 60%. Two for 35 for 55 And I believe today there's an, an additional coupon for an extra... 15% off on a purchase of $45 or, or more. Um, so this is what I love about the Yankee Candle Village. You see what's happening here? You see what's happening here? You see what's happening here? You see what's happening here. Um, Yankee Candle Village uh, has uh, a decent amount of, these aren't European candles. As you can see, it still says America's Best Loved Candle. Doesn't say a passion for fragrance. This is an American candle with the older labels. And as you can see, the reason is because this is original stock. Right there, it says 2016 pour. Hello, Rianne, how are you? But Pink Peony, uh, Full size U.S. label with the old font. They do have older stock here, which is really cool. So if you're ever looking for your favorite candle in the original label, the large label, this is certainly the place to come. Let me give you kind of a, a step back look here. We have pretty large room. Um, so every fragrance that is in circulation is most likely in this room and then some you can see uh, the price has the price change has taken effect 
we've moved from $27.99 to $29.50, which I think uh, is, I know there's a lot of people who want to debate me about this. There's no sense of debating. We're all friends here. I think is a very, very fair price increase. Plus, who pays? Who pays? Tell me, who pays full price for Yankee Candles? Nobody pays full price. And this is what's cool here. Look at this. Autumn Gathering. This was a 2016 uh, fall release. And this was kind of like the sister or brother candle to Crisp Fall Night. And obviously this is a repour because it didn't come out originally. Actually, it did come out on that label. I apologize. It came out with that label. Uh, but this is a 2017 pour. But uh, I wasn't aware that this was even available. It's certainly not available on the website, and it's certainly not available in a re other retail avenues. So that is really cool. I actually need to get a new one. I might have to come back and buy one. You'll find in your retail stores that French vanilla is back. It's not back. They just... They, they just poured a bunch for in 2018 for um, the semi-annual sale. And here we go. The Yankee Candle Village exclusive jars. Um, we have New England Maple. Now, if you're not familiar with these, these do come in three completely different labels. These used to have the full-size labels. They do not anymore. And then we have Very Licious does not belong here. Uh, but we have three New England blueberries. We have the blueberry baskets, we have the blueberry bush, and then where's the blueberry muffin? The blueberry muffin is usually the popular one, and you know what? I don't even see it, so there's a testament to that. And then Edelweiss. Uh, the other exclusive is going to be these two right here. Uh, Williamsburg, this is exclusive to the Williamsburg flagship and in, in, um Virginia Williamsburg pineapple and Williamsburg bayberry and this is not this is not uh, the very popular Christmas bayberry that we see every year uh, during the holiday season nor is this in my opinion a repackage of uh, pineapple paradise or uh, and it's not even close to the, what was it last year, the pineapple upside down cake. Uh, those, those, those fragrances are unique. Fresh cut roses. Fresh cut roses. I bought one yesterday and a European label. All right. Let's go see the massive sale. So we're going to be exiting the country and New England store, as they call it, and now entering the general store and it looks like they changed the name oh no they did they changed the name from the general store to the farmhouse pantry there there's changes being made here at the village uh and i trust me Yankee, I, I noticed these things there used to be a sign right here that said the general store so what this room represents, um, if you were to visit Yankee Candle uh, it, uh, back in here at this location in 1983, 84, 85, 86, um, it wouldn't have been called the Yankee Candle Village. It would have been called the Yankee Candle Country Store and uh, Factory because this, that would have predated the factory that uh, now resides right down the street. They actually did make the candles here at one point, and really the only shopping to be done was a country store, and they sold items just like this. Uh, local New England products, syrups, jams, uh, you know, right over here we got pancake and waffle mixes and all of this good stuff. Everything that you would find in a warm, cozy New England country store. Uh, that's what they had for sale. And then you could also buy Yankee Candles at the country store if you visited. Now, somewhere, I think it was 87, 86, they put an addition 
on to Yankee Candle. Let me show you real quick. This used to be the main entrance right here. You would enter from right here. This would have been the main entrance and this would have been the entirety of the Yankee Candle Village. Again, it wasn't called the village, it was called Country Store and Factory. But all of this, all of what we just walked through did not exist. It was not built. There was a huge addition extension put onto the building in the mid 80s. So that's why if you stand outside, it looks like where the main entrance should be, there actually isn't an entrance because that used to be the old entrance. Just a little Yankee Candle history for you. All right, here we go, guys. The moment you've been waiting for and giveaway anticipators, we're getting closer and closer to this moment. The Yankee Candle Emporium. This is the room. This is where all of the magic happens. This is where the bulk of the candles are here, at Yankee Candle Village, and the accessories. But more importantly, when the semi-annual sale happens, it goes down. Whoa, 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 in this room. My question is, do I stop the live now or do we go inside? I think we should go inside, otherwise you guys would kill me. Look at this. They still have them, they still have them. Not only that, they're $10. They're, they're almost a full, they're 50% off, they're 50% off. We have, this is the Making Memories collection. It came in these beautiful boxes. Look at this. This is not like a cheap box. This is a box you'd want to keep, right? And then inside you have this three wick tumbler that very minimalistic, but you see that, look at that, how beautiful that is. Love, right? Uh, and this is a beautiful kind of like cherry blossom smell, if I remember correctly. Uh, but this did sell out because it was limited edition. And then laughter balance, there's a, there's a handful of these, but they are right now 10% off making memories collection. And then look, look here, folks, looky here. If we go back to December 26th, you will remember these hit the shelves in retail. This would have been the limited edition tumblers of the 2018 spring preview. We have early spring bloom, a calm and quiet place. We have sweet nothings. Uh, the reason why I'm bringing this up is when I don't actually see it, raindrops, if you go into your Yankee Candle retail, you might be able to find it in this format. The interesting thing was it really, really uh, wasn't, uh, um, it wasn't released for the spring preview, raindrops. Raindrops was a UK exclusive. And, uh, but now for the semi-annual sale, you can go into your retail, look for these. Uh, most likely you'll see raindrops. If you don't, ask your uh, Yankee Candle associate if they have it in the back, or go to a Yankee Candle outlet. They might have it. So I just wanna point that out there. And look at that, $5. They used to be, yeah, I remember buying them for $12.99 and $5 for these nine point, it doesn't look like it, but there's 9.5 ounces of wax in those guys. Very cool. We have this nice autumn votive collection. That's cool. Everything on this table is going to be 40% off. This coffee is really becoming to be a problem. Um, 40% off. Let's start with the 40% off. Let's see what we have here. These are always great. You know, things like this, uh, I love for, I think all of us do it, right? For, for Christmas, uh, stock up on things like this. We have 12 tea lights and a little tea light holder of Sicilian lemon. I did a, recently did a video 
um, it's a soy and lemon. Make sure you, you check that one out. And this is kind of interesting. I have no idea what this is. Is this like a mystery set? It, 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 it just may be. You know, I bet you if you take the voters out, they will tell you what they are. But from the outside, um, oh, no, it tells you right there. Sea salt, coconut beach, Bahama breeze, Mediterranean. Cool, 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 cool. All right. And I never got one of these. Um, but how beautiful. Um, a lot of people refrain from getting this, uh, this collection, this amnesset, that's a, it's a hard word for me to say, uh, collection, because uh, it doesn't really fit the decor or the design aesthetic for their spring uh, candle setup, but I just love, I, I, I love it. Look at all of this, like you have this periwinkle mixed with that eggplant purple, uh, it looks like shards of glass, that nice cracked effect, shimmers and shines, 40% off. Moving on to 50% off. And this is what is unique about the Yankee Candle Village for the semi-annual sale. Um, that not only do Yankee Candle products go on sale, but also non-Yankee Candle products go on sale. Like here, uh, Yankee Candle Village has a kitchen, a kitchenware area. So they have products by other companies. Things like this right here. Look at this barrel top right here. Uh, that's actually a Lazy Susan. Uh, that is not a Yankee Candle product, but it is 50% off the best sale ever, right? We got penguin slippers. $44. See, $44 might, well, for Vera Bradley, okay. $44 might be a lot for slippers. But $22, now we can start considering it, right? 75% off. We are increasing the percentage here. Excuse my enthusiasm, but I get very excited here. Look at this, look at this. I just, I, 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 I do, I really like the color purple. Um, imagine if you had like a Prince themed Yankee candle, like a candle called, uh, this is what it smells like when doves cry or something like that, right? And then, uh, or you could just simply have a candle called Purple Rain. This would make a great top for it as would well this is not that purple this is more of a blue color that's kind of that is like that is like an alien egg maybe not a barney egg but that's like a mini mini alien egg speaking of barney eggs i wonder if they have any look at this this is straight out of star trek or like 60s living room decor i think my parents had a chair that looked like this at some point but i like i like that aesthetic i think it's coming back you know like the ambers and the green colors 50 percent off well actually no buy one get one 50 percent off uh, a lot of the same candles there's that blueberry candle that i wanted to show you before look at all of the accessories guys just let me give you a quick scope of what's going on. <laughs> There's so much to look at. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do this as efficiently as possible. But like a lot of this stuff, I haven't even seen. Look at that. I don't know if I'd get much use out of that, but I know some people would. Uh, uh, Harry says I don't care for the shades anymore. They hold back the throw. And don't really make the wax pool much better. Uh, da, 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 da. A lot of, a lot of you guys are talking, making some pretty interesting statements. I'm trying to keep a good balance. Look, look, look. 
a mini Barney egg. Guys, if you don't know the Barney egg story, uh, not too long ago I bought, oh my God, oh my God, $12, 75% off. I bought, I don't see it yet, but they had one that was, it wouldn't even fit into this shelf. That's how big it was. It was ridiculously big. I saw it, I laughed, I laughed, I laughed. And then after I stopped laughing, I had to buy it. And it turned out to be one of the greatest purchases because what I did was I put little twinkle lights, those little LED battery powered twinkle lights inside. And that really has a beautiful effect. Or also any kind of uh, tea light tea tree or tea light tree uh, in the in the big Barney egg really looks nice in one of these. So if you don't want a full size Barney egg, they do come in these minis and they're seventy five percent off. Do you understand? That's like three. What is that? Three dollars and change. That's you know I will be getting that. And I want to get a price on this too because I'm sorry, it's heavy. That is one thing I have to say about this thing, which maybe is not a bad thing. $30 and it's 40% off. It is very, very heavy. But it doesn't look like, my always my main concern with these is if the paint or the tinting comes off. And this this certainly is not that. Um, if you look at it, I wouldn't be doing this if, uh, if it was coming off. But sometimes there's like a, you know, the color is just painted on the back. That is not the case here. So that is one good thing about this candle holder. I probably will get that, or at the very least, see this looks like it's a mini. It would fit like a mini, or excuse me, a mini jar, medium house warmer, but it's actually a shade. But I think that could be altered if you put something on the bottom there. I own one of these very happy with that purchase but man how great would this be i'm going to be doing a little mermaid themed video candle video soon and this would make an excellent accessory for it but again i try not to buy too many accessories because i really do have a lot throughout the years so if i really like something i try to keep it nice and small just just like this guy right here you'll see that on my desk uh in my office and look at this one it's on fire it is on fire uh i don't know i don't know how i feel about this one to be honest with you it is 75 percent off for 22.99 i don't know it kind of reminds me of the heat miser from um, um, the stop motion Christmas special. Let's keep going. We have these centerpieces, seem to be mosaic centerpieces or tart warmers at the very least. I will never buy stuff like this. I'll admit, I'll never buy stuff like this at full price. But when it starts going on sale, how great is that? Because that doesn't take up much space. And you can leave that up, and that works all year round. It's a tea light holder, right? It's actually it should be turned like this. Because what you do is you light those tea lights, and then you have this frosted piece of little piece of plastic in there and you'll get this nice soft shadow box effect of all those tea lights you guys know what I'm talking about ooh and can you see those those colors there uh, what do you call that pearlescent pearlescent <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying that with such pronunciation pearlescent ah oh, got two of these 
I love these right here. Um, I have one I, I put a large tumbler in. I also have a, a tea tree, a tea light tree. I have to say that in one word. Uh, to keep mixing it up. Tea light tree goes right into there. You can get one at an outlet for a couple dollars and it looks really nice. And they come in many different colors, but uh, you know, the, the colored ones are hard to find in a large size jar. All right, so now let's talk about Chesapeake Bay. Um, um, this isn't, that looks like what Yankee Candle label. Is it called Serenity? I can't remember. Uh, but this is, Chesapeake Bay is really, really making a presence now at the Yankee Candle Village. So we have uh, an entire lineup of just very, in my mind, a collection that is spa-like. You know, this is very good marketing for it. It's very, you know, um, it has, you know, meditative qualities themed, I mean, you know, like confidence, freedom, joy, laughter. None of these candles are going to be named after what they actually smell like. And look at this. Very cool. I didn't know they had them here at Yankee Candle to readjust your nose. So let's get some prices here. It does not look like any Chesapeake Bay items are on sale. But thank you, thank you for that thumbs up reminder. That is very important for me. And I really deeply appreciate it if you guys do that for me. And while we're at it, we might as well talk about if you haven't subscribed already, guys, I gotta keep saying it. That's 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 kind of part of my responsibility of promoting myself. I gotta keep saying it. Don't get upset with me. But make sure you subscribe if you're if you haven't. So here we have the beach scene collection that came out a while ago again did not make a lot of noise um these may have been available at bed bath and beyond maybe that's probably even what actually you know what these were these were available at kohl's um so these were already released fragrances like beach walk here and it had this the, these vessels that are trans transparent or transparent and translucent uh, and they had this kind of watercolor effect and uh, no lids we had single wicks soy wax blend and then we had the three wick tumblers um, uh, I don't think these would have been popular sellers and you know like something like this I think is a good example like I can see Yankee Candle, right? Vaguely. But Coconut Beach, look look how that should have been printed in a darker color. Shouldn't it? Um, that, you know, it's just, um, I don't know. I don't know. Beach Scene Candles. What did you guys think? Uh, right now, this is definitely a good price. Three wick, three wick, three wick candle. I don't know how much wax is in this thing, but it's gotta be a lot. There's 18 ounces of wax in this thing, and it's $10. Um, and the small ones are going to be $7.50. And then what? What do you think are inside these boxes here? Do you think there's Halloween products in there? Do you think the new Halloween fragrances are inside these boxes? I doubt it. I highly doubt it, but it's nice to dream. It's nice to dream. That's what's great about the semi-annual sale. They, as soon as they sell out, they bring out more stuff from the warehouse and uh, show you more. So here we go, here we go. Here's something that you're not gonna find at your local Yankee Candle a retail. Uh, once again, uh, Chesapeake Bay, but these were the ones I was talking about before. These are, um, uh, were exclusive for the pop-up store uh, in New York City, Soho. There were two, Fall in Central Park, and, ooh, do we have the other one? Yeah, it's on the other side. We have, this is what I gave Monica Carlson 
my sister-in-law for Christmas, one gift at least, uh, New York City at dawn, cashmere plum, and these candles are, let me just tell you right now, stole the show at that pop-up storefront in New York City. There's one that's very deeply musky, earthy, grassy, smells like fresh moss. It really smells like you got your face on the ground. Very masculine in my opinion. But this one here, uh, beautifully clean and fruity. Um, it's uh, really complex candles. I can't even begin to imagine how many uh, ingredients make up these fragrances. So when I say that Chesapeake Bay has upped their game, uh, I truly mean it. If you smell these candles, um, they are insane. Now, I haven't spent an enormous amount of time smelling other Chesapeake Bay fragrances like this, um, but I have spent time smelling Chesapeake Bay candles in places like Hobby Lobby. And, you know, they, they are affordable candles. You know, the price points are just about right. But I think since the acquisition by Yankee Candle, the quality has gone up significantly. $5 personalized candle label. And I do want to remind you, $5 uh, candle label. Um, here at South Deerfield, they have the printer that they had again at the pop-up in New York City, which is a much higher quality, higher resolution printer. So it actually prints real Yankee Candle labels. Do you know what I mean? Like if you go get a personalized label, they look really, really cool at your local Yankee Candle. But you know, if you nick it or if you scratch it, it will leave a mark. Uh, the printer that they have here, it used to be right here in this corner, but they moved it. I don't know where they moved it. I haven't seen it yet. Uh, but it prints actual, real Yankee Candle labels. So let that be an incentive if you're ever in uh, the South Deerfield region to stop in and get some personalized labels made. And of course, when you do, make sure you tell them the candle enthusiast sent you. Personalized label, like right there. Right there. And they they have different borders. You can uh, have, uh, you know, the, you know a caption on the bottom, a name, or you don't have to have that. Um, but it's just if, an additional $5 to every uh, large tumbler or large house warmer. We got some perfect pillars here. Large perfect pillars going for $25. $20 for medium, which means $25 is the way to go. And then $16.50 for the small. And I'm starting to think that these may not be a part of the semi-annual sale. And if that's the case, um, Oh my God, if that's the case, it's not gonna be a perfect pillar day, but look at this. Look what Yankee Candle received. This was the jar that they had in New York City. The massive house warmer jar in the pop-up event in Soho. Wow. So they must have brought, oh my God, this is so, this is so cool. This is such, I'm honestly seeing this for the first time. I'm not kidding. I'm so happy they brought this here. So what you do is, okay, so you bring your photo, you email it to them. Um, they have uh, people to help you out, kind of make sure it's cropped and it looks exactly the way you want. They print it on any candle that you want. Um, but wow, what a wonderful addition to the Candle Emporium. That is a massive, massive house on our jar. Let me just do this.
this way you can at least get a scale reference. That makes me so, I really, I'm right now my heart is beating so fast, I'm so excited. I don't know what they're gonna do about the Christmas floats. Because usually when I do my Christmas evaluations, they have floats here where I uh, get up on and I evaluate the Christmas candles. I might have to pick a different place to do that this year. And once again, I lost my coffee. Nope, there it is. Very cool. I'm sorry that I took a little extra time with that, but that was pretty, pretty spectacular. Flamingo, because, well, why not? Why not? And over here, hi, how are you? Um, we have the wood wick selection tucked away in the corner but very decent selection and i'm really digging the wood wicks i don't buy them uh but that's not because i don't think they smell fantastic i think they look fantastic i love the plus wick um and the ellipse jars the ellipse jars look like this and <laughs> look at that wick in there that wooden wick cracks and I think it was Diane that said it sounds like, like crackling bacon. And I guess that could be a good thing or a bad thing. I like it. I like it. Because um, there's many places in my life where I've lived where uh, I didn't have a fireplace, or, nor did I need one. And, and uh, this kind of really helps set the mood. A lot of fragrances. A lot of fragrances. Again, though, I don't think there are any sales for the summer and also check this out look at this this is like a luxury version of a wooden wick look at that crackling as it burns that is a cut on my pinky by the way from enchanted moon crackling as it burns so it's got a plus wick but it's got this really heavy, heavy, heavy vessel. Although it looks like it's got the same amount of wax in it. But what's cool is look at, oh, it's all about packaging. I'm sorry, guys. For those of you who are not into packaging, I am all about it. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. And it's wood, you have this wood, like fire log design. inside of the cylinder watch I'm, I'm gonna drop it and break it inside the cylinder is really just it's this you see and how many of you guys would if you purchased one of these would throw this box out because it's okay if you do I want you to tell me but I would not have the heart to do that look at the names on these very uh, very sophisticated I think they're really going for kind of a rustic rustic luxurious feel so it's it's, it's borderline the luxury bracket um, but keeping it rustic keeping it uh, you know down to earth you know like redwood and and oad wood and fireplace and denim, lavender spots, keeping it very warm, keeping it very, I don't want to say New England, but uh, I don't know. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this little tour probably more than you guys. All the discoveries. We got more Williamsburg pineapple. I've showed this many times. This candle has been here for a long time, a long time. And we, we are familiar with the King Candle. If you've ever seen the, how big is it? It's, I think, uh, I can't remember how big. Four wick balsam and cedar candles called the King Candle. But this is the true King Candle. Um, it's speaking in the third person here, or not speaking in the third person, speaking in the first person, the candle itself. 
I've been a part of the Yankee Candle Village flagship store in South Deerfield for over 20 years, but this sign was made almost 10 years ago, so keep that in mind. Uh, I was made with 1,377 pounds of wax. If anyone can do a conversion for me for uh, the international crowd, that would be great. And six feet of wick. If lit, I would provide 64,652 hours. That is 2,693 days or seven and a half years of candlelight. Thank you for visiting me here at the Yankee Candle Village. Please come again. I certainly will, King Candle. I certainly will. And one day, I will own you. I, will, I won't own you, but I would like to own you. Not you, the viewer, but the candle. Things are really starting to quiet down. We got more, we got more. We got one of the most special parts coming up. We're about to head over to the returning favorites section. Returning favorites, or Yankee, it used to be called the Yankee Candle Treasures Wall. It's a cabinet where they have all of the candles that are favorites that have disappeared over the years, that have come back for a limited time. And look at this, guys. Uh, full label, full label, old font. I'm guessing a 16 pour. No, 18 pour. Go ahead and try to explain that to me. America's best love candle. So this is an American candle poured this year with an Amer American label. Why do they do this? Why do they, why do you do this, Yankee Candle? Is that, does that mean that you will be returning this label? I mean, what, what, what is that? I don't get how this happened. And then possibly my favorite Christmas candle of last year. Ooh, we're seeing some Merry Marshmallow discoloration uh, on this guy. Ooh, and it's happening to him too. Ugh, it's always a bummer when that happens. But this candle uh, really rocked my boat last year. I loved it. Sugar cookie martini. It, uh, if you're not a martini fan, I can understand. Eric must not be. Uh, it, uh, it does smell a little bit like that sweet vermouth um, uh, uh, that you would find in a beautiful cocktail that is featured right there on the glass. But to me, the main profile was eggnog. There was some nog happening inside of that candle sun washed linen i just got this guy right here enchanted garden and again these are all 18 pours 18. so again if this was made for uh the Euro europe it would say passion uh, a passion for fragrance and it also it would not list the ounces only the grams so this is an american made candle and it is not an outlet candle it's not an assortments label it was poured this year so very interesting that yankee does this um it seems that it really only occurs here you can only find them here at the village but uh, that's a huge incentive for those of you who are, um, you know, old school Yankee Candle fans or looking for some older, fuller labels. Let's see what we got here. Look, they, they even cut out the little girl making the summer wish. They cut it out completely. We have rainbow cookies, sweet fig, and pomegranate. This is very similar, very reminiscent to the color of glittering star this year for Christmas. And this year's, in, ah, no, I'm going to take that back. Enchanted moon is going to be more of a purple, where this is kind of a, uh, I guess, a pomegranate, a dark pomegranate juice color. What else do we have in this wall? Returning favorites. Market Blossom. We have Honey Blossom. These aren't new. I got my returning favorites. Blueberry. Beachwood. All right. 
I was, I, I will be honest, I was hoping for a little bit more uh, rarities here. Eucalyptus. Riviera Escape. They really, uh, they pumped, they brought this back. Oh, no, 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 no. This is overstock. Actually, no, it's not. 2017. I was looking at the wrong year. But actually, 2017 was the year this was released here in the U.S., at least, as an online exclusive. Riviera Escape. Um, um, European fragrance that made its way to the U.S. Huh. And Angie got it at Home Goods. Nikki's got to go. Nikki's got to go. Goodbye, Nikki. Thank you for joining us today. Um... All right, so I think we have taken a pretty decent look here. I hope this was uh, insightful for you guys. I am going to be here tomorrow to film an edited video. So if you do enjoy more of the, the edited versus live format, make sure you keep your eyes out for that. But we still have a giveaway winner to announce so if you've been waiting anxious anxiously for that giveaway uh make sure you hang in tight because we're about to do that there it is there's that exclusive city lights that was only available for sale through november 9th through january 3rd um during the holiday seasons this past year in new york city it, may, it was available on the website for a little bit they said it wasn't going to, but it did. So we're going to make our way back to the cafe. And I'm going to give do a, like I said, we're going to, we're going to reveal the giveaway winner. God, this place is really emptied out. All right. All right. So first things first. Again, let me do a little bit of promoting um, of uh, some things that I have to to mention. Uh, th those of you guys who are new, uh, this channel, the Candle Enthusiast, is uh, not only a, a, a channel about candles and uh, sharing our passions of aroma. Uh, the, the main reason why I started this channel was to share nostalgic things that we all have in common and a part of that is traveling to places going uh, 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 revisiting things that we haven't thought about in a long time whether that be television shows whether that be um, um, things like breakfast cereals and candies and stuff like that nostalgia is a big part of this show and now that i am producing i'm able to produce more on a daily basis we're going to be uh focusing on that a lot so please i i urge you if uh you give me a chance subscribe for about a week or two and you can unsubscribe if you'd like uh if i don't completely win you over and we'll still be best friends uh, but I really, really, I'm doing my best to try to turn this candle enthusiast into something other than just candle evaluations. We got a lot of places to travel this summer. And if any of you guys are huge Halloween fans like I am, we have some pretty exciting Halloween and holiday content coming up this season. So that's that. Uh, but how do I fund this show? How do I do this? YouTube videos, you can't, you can't make a living on YouTube videos. How it works is I've been able to keep this show on the road by using some money that I have uh, fortunately been able to save away and dip into, uh, but also from the wonderful, very, very gracious pledges and contributions from the viewers. Look, nobody ever, ever has to... Uh, do anything to support me or this channel other than to just watch the videos but i do have a patreon account patreon is a way just like pbs 
If you want to throw in a dollar, it makes a huge difference. If you want to throw in five dollars, get a postcard every so often. There's a lot of different rewards, a lot of different ways you can support the show. And the more supporters we have, the more money that's coming in, not going into my pocket, but going right back into the show to keep us moving, keep us traveling, keep this channel growing and doing bigger and better things. So please, I don't normally really make a push to, to uh, promote my Patreon account. I hope people stumble across it accidentally. Uh, but uh, things like we're doing today, uh, things that I have planned uh, later in the summer, uh, uh, like I said, the more help, uh, that more money we can pull together, the more things we can, I, you know, money is such a terrible thing to always be talking about, but unfortunately, that's how we keep this show on the road. So patreon.com, all you got to do is go there and type in the candle enthusiast, or if you go into any one of my videos, there's a link down below. There's plenty of ways you can support the channel. There's my eBay page. All the eBay items I put up on uh, on the official Kendall Enthusiast page go right back into the show, the fun. Uh, the Patreon, we have subscription boxes. Next month, we're having, an, uh, going, it's all going to be a Witch City Wix subscription box. Next month, Witch City Wix subscription box. So if there's a time, if you're a, uh, a Witch City Wix fan and there's a time to, to, be, to get one of those subscription box spots, it's now uh, because there's only a limited amount of spots available. Uh, I only do a total of I think I think I'm now I'm doing nine subscription boxes total, and there's some openings. So make sure you check that out. Also, t-shirts, and mugs uh, coming soon. Mug is on eBay. But other than that, like I said, all you have to do is watch. By watching me, you are supporting me. All my content will always, always, always be 100% free. Rianne, thank you so much. Two euros, thank you so much for the super chat. That is another fantastic way to be able to uh, fund, uh, uh, fund, fund this program. You see how shy and embarrassed I get when I have to do this? But I have to, as a responsible YouTuber, I have to promote um, this show because otherwise, <laughs> well, like I said, this is how we keep things going. Hello from the Netherlands. See, we, I love the fact that we're getting a larger international crowd. I love this. Uh, if you don't want, that's fine, but I could be a moderator. I try to watch all your stuff. Uh, moderator. Um, uh, bam, done. I can't do that for everyone. Uh, Travis, $5 super chat. Thank you so much. Look, I'm not asking for super chats, but really, thank you very, very much, very much. Uh, if 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 two dollars and five dollars does not sound like a lot of money, it truly, it truly, it, it is. It adds up quick, and trust me, guys, uh, I I'm very sincere and very honest when I'm saying that I'm truly trying to make this uh, this content uh, content that will be uh, very, very exciting for all you guys. I'm trying to do my best to make good stuff. This is not just me trying to fill up my time. Um, I'm trying to make this bigger and better as, as, uh, as uh, the, 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 the weeks go on. As we get closer to the uh, second year anniversary, if you can believe that that's, that's coming up already. Good God, we're getting into the third year. But we have a giveaway. So once again, the giveaway, the way it worked was for the past seven days, you guys had an opportunity to share any one of my videos. I still hope that you can find it in your heart every so often to, if you watch one of my videos, if you go back into my back catalog, you'll find a huge array of different style videos. I just read your message, Rian. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, she's also a supporter of my brother. Um, uh, if you ever come across one of my videos, share it on Facebook, T tweet it out, you know, share the love. That's how this channel grows. And the more viewers we have, the more followers we have, um, like I said, the more things we're going to be able to do. So the giveaway was about sharing a video or reposting an Instagram giveaway photo 
that I listed on my Instagram account, account candle.enthusiast. And uh, really, this was completely blind kind of lottery system choice. I looked at all of the, the comments and looked at all of the reposts and I picked went like boom and uh, looks good. I don't think I know you and I apologize if I do, uh, but Emily Bauer, B-A-U-E-R, you are going to be the winner of the Candle Enthusiast giveaway of Tranquil Mist and Icy Blue Sky. I unfortunately don't off the top of my head, remember your Instagram handle. I will reach out to you via Instagram. I don't know where you are in the world, uh, but what you have to do, Emily Bauer, I hope I'm pronouncing your, your last name right, B-A-U-E-R, uh, wherever you are in the world, email me at candleenthusiast at yahoo.com. Send me a shipping address that you're comfortable with uh, me sending you these two candles and I will as soon as I get back to my home base I will have them boxed up and uh, I'll throw in some extra goodies in there and have them out to you ASAP and for everyone who participated thank you so incredibly much uh, I'm truly truly humbled by the support that you guys uh, gave me Hobble Kitty uh, and I'm already forgetting your name, but uh, Hobble Kitty, the, uh, uh, your, your dear friend who came with you, brought you here today. Uh, two very lovely people came to see me in person and just have a quick chat and uh, truly brightened my day. So thank you to all of you folks. We will be doing more giveaways. There's no reason not to. We'll be doing more giveaways. So make sure that uh, you keep an eye out. Uh, on my Instagram, that's where I list away my giveaways. Uh, we're gonna be, we're dipping into, you know, even though we're in summer, I know you guys are wanting to get a head start of your autumn purchases. So there's gonna be a lot of autumn giveaways. Which city wicks giveaways, including promo code coming up. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll discuss all of those details in the coming, in the coming days and weeks. Uh, but uh, that is, is that it? Is that it? Uh, subscribe, like, share, share the love. Make sure when this video goes live, you come back and leave me comments. Again, I will be here tomorrow. I'm going to be here in South Deerfield. I'm also going to be going to Kringle Candle. I might do a live. I may not. Some people don't like too many lives, and I've done two in a row. Uh, uh, so I, I, I may or may not, but I will at least get footage of Kringle Candle, see if they have unicorn poop. Yes, Kringle Candle, or at least Country Candle has a candle called unicorn poop. A lot of us uh, placed our pre-orders in. Uh, so I'll see if they have that in stock. Uh, let me know if you need uh, me to look for anything uh, while you're there. And... Um, and really, all oh, thank you, thank you for watching. I, I hope uh, you you enjoy these little live videos as much as I do. Uh, a lot of great stuff to come. A lot of great stuff to come. I am super enthusiastic. Uh, living enthusiastically is going to be my vlog series. Uh, episode three is being delayed a little bit, but episode three and episode four are almost done, so they will be coming. And in betweens, I have so much. Uh, material for in-betweens. In-betweens is like the making of the candle enthusiast. Kind of be the behind the scenes of me going out and traveling and making videos. And you guys seem to really like those videos. So I will be uh, sitting down and putting together one of those uh, very soon. And what else is on the horizon? Oh, there's, oh, there's, there's got to be tons of stuff. It's summer. It's su well. It's not summer, but it's summer for me. So we got to be out. And look, guys, it's Santa Claus. Santa Claus, he's coming out to get a cup of coffee. You gotta love this. You gotta love the Yankee Candle Village. Santa Claus is just walking around, chilling out. I don't want to wait till he walks behind me. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Santa Claus at Yankee Candle Village. 
that's it for me, folks. Uh, signing out from South Deerfield, Massachusetts, Yankee Candle Village, the flagship store. I will be seeing you guys soon. Thank you all for tuning in. And congratulations to Emily for winning those candles. Reach out to me. I'll reach out to you via Instagram. But for everyone else, I will see you soon. And be good. And leave a comment. Leave a comment in the description below. Cruise back. Cruise, you're here. Um, I have an email coming your way very soon, buddy. I did get your email. Uh, it just, I've been swarmed recently. All right, everybody, have a great day. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.